Hey guys, I'm Mari Ray and welcome to Don't Starve Together Alone. So I decided I wanted to play some Don't Starve. I used to play this game all the time and I am by no means very good at this game. I'm okay, but I'm not good. So I wanted to play it since they're releasing a brand new update coming soon, the Hamlet update, but I'm not actually playing the version of the game that's going to get that update. But since I'm not that good at it anyway, I might as well just try to get back into it and see if I can get better at it. So that's what I'm going to plan to do right now, and I wanted to play Don't Starve together because I want to tame a beefalo. Ever since that, like, <laughs> dainty coat dress. Oh, oh, Wilson, you could be dainty. I'm always Wilson, by the way, but I want to tame a beefalo. So ever since that, that whole thing came out, I've always wanted to tame a beefalo. You know what? We're going to be dapper, Wilson. Oh, yeah, there we go. The gray pants. Oh, yeah, sneakers. Look at that. He's like a hipster. He's he's awesome. There we go. We're Dapper Wilson. But I've always wanted to tame a beefalo since that version of the game, or Don't Start Together, came out. And I've never gotten around to it, or at least I've never survived long enough. So I decided I'm going to jump into Don't Start Together to see how good I can get and how far I can get. And if I can actually tame a beefalo, which is something that I want to do. I don't like those gloves anymore, so he's not going to wear gloves. So we're going to... That's pretty much my goal, is just to see how long I can survive here. And I got a present, like, as soon as I came in. Let's see if I remember how to do anything here. I remember how to pick up flowers. Get some twigs. I'm, I hope I don't die super fast. I did put a mod on here, just so that it scales the monster's health to be, like, don't starve. Because if I can't even survive there, I don't even want to try to beat this on don't start together mode, like, with lots of higher killing monsters. So I'm just gonna gather stuff and try to take the wisdom of the other YouTubers and streamers who play this game a lot better than me. A whole lot better than I probably ever will, but this is all learning, right? It's a learning experience. I don't know why I'm collecting so many flowers. They might, they might be useful later. I can make a flower hat or something. But I'm just going to try to see how long I can survive, and I'm pretty sure the hounds are going to kill me. The hounds are probably going to destroy me, but, you know, I can never catch these butterflies. Will you die? Come here. Come here. Ah, whatever. That little jerk ran away from me. He doesn't want to die by my hands. Let's see if I can catch him this time. I keep missing! And a turkey! Okay, so we got enough flint to make pickaxe from the wisdom of Glurms, who is one of the YouTubers or streamers, Twitch streamers that I watch all the time, and who's very, very good at this game. He always says, make a pickaxe first. So I'm gonna take his wisdom and make a pickaxe first. If I can catch a butterfly, I can't catch them. I'm too slow, or I'm not doing it right, one of the two. Well, at least we got a lot of grass as soon as we started. I don't know how good that's gonna help me. So I think I, what I want to do is find gold. Spiders! I'm not gonna mess with the spiders right now. I'm gonna try to find the gold, though, and the pig king. I, I want to make a base near the pig king. I always like making bases near the pig king. I don't think there's any reason to it. I just like the pig king. He's neat. But we have to try to find a gold beefalo! I found you, babes! Beefalo! Hello, beefy beefs! Well, we know where they are. We, like, didn't even run that far. We spawned right by them. Oh, look, there were rocks right behind me. That's awesome. Let's go back. What's this? Gunpowder. Okay. I'll take the gunpowder. I will take the gunpowder. I don't exactly know how to use it. I'm also afraid of the giants. Like, I think I've only defeated one giant in my time of playing Don't Starve, and that was the Goose Goose, and that's like the easiest giant. And I'm not gonna say that was a very good fight, but yeah, it happened. I beat it. I mean, oh look, it's the, uh, the mine. Uh, I think you can get, like, the orbs or the light bulbs. From down here and if we get the light bulb then we could make a uh, lantern which will be beneficial at night so are there light bulbs down here 
I don't see any though. So I don't think this is an area where there are light bulbs. I don't exactly know where light bulbs spawn or how often. I could make a torch and go find some light bulbs, but I don't want to do that either. So I won't go very far down here. There's some ferns, but I don't see any light bulbs. I was hoping. I was hoping there- oh wait, are there some over here? Yes, light bulbs? Light bulbs! We can make a, uh, actually I don't think we can make it yet because we need the, uh, alchemy machine. But now we know where to come to get some. So actually we can get gold and we can go make the alchemy machine. Oh man, this is awesome! See, we're doing good. It's the first day. Let's go back upstairs. Let's grab some gold though. Just have extra flint. Get away from me, you jerks. You little bat jerks. Nobody wants to deal with you right now. I kind of don't want to fight them with this pickaxe because I don't think it'll be a very good use of my pickaxe. Let's make an X. And I kind of want to chop some trees. Since we have some gold, I'm going to make the uh, science machine. But I kind of want to make a fire. And I think I need wood anyway, so... Chop some trees. Well, I think this is a good start. First day and we found the gold, we found the beefalo, we found a wormhole up here. A lot of twigs, found some light. We're gonna try to make a lantern so that we have better light at night. Yeah, this is good. I think we're making good progress right off the bat. I guess I should have been collecting food. I don't have any food. Well, I got like a couple berries and a carrot. I don't think that's very good, but we'll see. Any more gold over here? There's some more gold over here. So let's make like a fire. And let's just place though our science machine right here. I, I don't really care. We can go right there. We can open our presents. Let's see. And we could also die in the night. Can we speed this along, please? Thank you. I'll use it later. Oh man, are we gonna die in the night? Place the fire, place the fire! Woo! Charlie almost got us! That was really close. Okay, well that was almost a failure on the first day after we were doing so good, almost like ruined the whole thing. This is why I shouldn't play this game. That's why. Because weird stuff happens. Just get some more rocks and gold, and we're gonna make the uh, science machine. Not science machine, the alchemy machine. But first, you have to refine. So I wanna go into refine. Make cut stone. I wanna learn to make the rope. I need to make an electrical doodad. I'll need two of them though, so I'm gonna need some more stone. Uh, some more cut stone? I think- I don't think I need that much cut stone. I need- go back to science, electrical doodad, I need boards and rocks. Okay, well I think I need more rocks and more boards. Let's grab a little bit more gold too. Well, break our pickaxe. There we go. Let's go back towards the science machine. Uh, I think we gotta go up this path. Or maybe not. Maybe we just gotta go right. We did just have to go right. Okay, so and we need to refine one more board. And then we should be able to craft the alchemy. We're not gonna place it. I just wanted to have it crafted so that we can place it when we find where we want to put our base. And then in survival, aren't there backpack? Yes. Backpack! Uh, and do they have... Is it in survival? It's in combat. Let's just make a spear. Uh... What else can we do? We got wood, twigs, grass, rocks, gold. Rocks, flint, gold. Food? Flowers for whatever reason. 
Uh, I can eat these. I don't know what the flowers are for just yet, but we got a lot of stuff. Already. I'm, I'm proud of this. I'm proud of this run so far. I'm gonna leave the science machine there for now. Because there may be something else that I think about that I need to craft. I could go ahead and craft just like this. Just because. So that I'll have it. So when I find the place, I already know how to make a shovel. Uh, let's grab some more rocks since they're just hanging out here. And I think I'm gonna make a torch. Oh no, I was going to make a lantern. But to make the lantern, I'll need a torch because it's about to be nighttime. And I don't think I can make the lantern with the science machine. I think I may need the alchemy engine. Let's check. Uh, light. You can make the endothermic fire, but it does need the alchemy engine. So we can't make it just yet, but we know where to come to get light bulbs. And I have the alchemy engine, I just don't want to place it. So we're gonna make a torch. Ah, oh, not, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, Wilson. And we're just gonna keep exploring. Well, I think I also need to find the clockworks, because one time that messed me up. I was playing this game and I could not find the clockworks anywhere and it was making me so mad and like winter came and I died because I'm not Jon Snow so you know we found the swamp so it isn't actually far from a lot of the different turfs the place where we were at least where the not the base but the uh the portal is which I might build the if I build the base like around the portal it's, not, it's like a walk away from the swamp there's a cave there. Our little satellite base. Look at these berries. Juice it. I don't know why I keep collecting food. I don't need that much food. But I should probably feed him when he gets hungry. It would help you to have food, right, Wilson? You you need that stuff sometimes. Let's come back over here and let's see. Can I make... Uh, no, I can't. I need the... Oh, no, I just don't have rope. Let's, let's see, where's my refine? Two rope. Let's go here and I'm gonna make this. Boom! Now we got armor. That'll come in handy. When we die. Um, do I want to make base here? I kind of just want my alchemy machine more than anything. So I think I'm gonna make at least something over here. Our satellite base can go here. We'll be fine, right? Let's make a satellite base here. So let's get this. But before I do that, let's make let's put like the fire pit down. I make the fire pit like right here. I'll make like the science machine right here. I probably shouldn't have done that because when I get a flingomatic. Well, I just have to put the phenomatic someplace else that's outside of this range. Whatever. Whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure this all out. All this stuff can be rebuilt at a later time if we need to, but I wanted to make some stuff. Which is my lantern. I want a lantern. Let's go down into the cave before those freaking bat jerks come out. Down into the cave. Stop making torches all the time. Wasting all of our resources. Wait, the lights aren't the, the lights aren't... But they were up yesterday. Okay, well, they're just not lighting up right now? My torch is gonna run out on me if I don't leave, though. And I don't wanna die because of Charlie. Charlie. When did this get here? I don't remember this being here, like, last time. At all. Whatever. Alright, back upstairs. Let's see. Oh, those freaking bat guys are gonna come out and attack me over here, aren't they? Well, that should be fun. No, it won't, because they'll probably kill me. And they're here already, so, you know, there's that. That's a downside to camping out here. No wonder I was sort of apprehensive at first. No, not now. Don't use it now. We got a couple light bulbs to refuel it just a little bit. So we're gonna go with what we have. I don't know why I have this, but if they turn to rot, I could use them to fertilize stuff. I wonder if there's anything past... You know what? We're gonna go back this way. 
Because now you know I want to change where I base at now because now I don't like those freaking bad things, but that's okay. We'll still leave the alchemy machine there. It doesn't hurt to have multiple alchemy machines. I may be out exploring and I- oh, wormhole. Hopefully it doesn't take us someplace evil and scary. Let's see. Uh, not necessarily a bad place. We are in more deciduous turf, so maybe near the picking? Question mark? Uh, let's see. Picking? Mr. Picking? Here's a pathway, and here's a stone pathway. This is really- wait, is he over here? Mr. Picking! I found you, my big fat buddy! Look at you! And your weird tooth and your freaking uneven horns and you just gold everywhere, diamonds and gold. The Pit King's got it going on, guys. So I think we found where we might make base. Let's look around some and see what else is around here. I don't see any downside to camping out around the Pit King. I think that he makes an awesome landmark to remember where we are. But let's go see what's this way. Some more pigs. A nice big forest. Excuse me, Mr. Pig. Oh look, and the swamp's right here. So you'll have quick access to a swamp. Camping out near the Pig King is probably where we're gonna go. So I should probably start getting all that stuff together, right? But I need to find the uh... What do you call those things? The, the clockwork knights. I need gears. And sometimes I struggle to find them, which bothers me to no end. I'll look around for like days and I can't find them anywhere. Here's another wormhole. Let's go through it for the heck of it. Why not? Let's go. And here is a tall bird and another entrance to the caves. And bees. Lots of bees. Oh, um, this is that, uh, you put the moon staff or something here, and a bunch of the hounds and crap come out to attack you, which is also right by the picking. This world, man. It spawned some cool stuff, but I hope it spawned me some clockwork knights. Because I want to make gears so that I can make a thingomatic and stuff for the summer. But I need to make that when they have ice, which will be around the end of autumn. But I can start- I have my shovel, collecting stuff to put in the base. I don't know what like the normal amount of twigs and uh, grass are, but I'm gonna start grabbing a lot of these and go plant them by the picking. Not exactly by- oh look, a walrus camp. This is where you come to get a uh, walking cane. Nine twigs, ten twigs. How many twigs can I carry out of the stack? Is it only ten? It is only ten, so I don't I don't I don't know. I guess we're only gonna have a stack of twigs. A stack of grass, two stacks of twigs. I also need fertilizer for all this stuff, which is why I'm picking up flowers and I'm gonna let them rot. I think they turn to rot. Which helps me in the long run. Oh, we need berry bushes. So maybe I should leave some of the twigs behind and grab some berry instead. God, I keep like burping in my own throat. Let's grab berry bushes instead. Well, you know what? Do this and then we can carry that with us too. Since we dug them up, right? We dug them up, we might as well. So we end up with 20. Maybe I should do like 20 of each. Though I think 20 berry bushes is a little excessive. I don't think I'll ever need that many berries, but... You know, at least not at one time. I broke my shovel. I done broke my shovel. Make another one. There we go. So we got 20 saplings, 11 grass. Here's some more berry bushes. I don't want to be like by the pigs because I feel like they will turn pig and kill me in the night so I kind of don't want to be near them. So let's find a different place to start building camp again. We could go by the wormhole. Where's Glomer? Where is my Glomer? Glomer should be here somewhere. This 
has disappointed me. I want to find Glamour. Uh, we got this set piece over here. Looking cool. Marble statue, marble sculpture. And some marble on the floor there. But where is Glum Glum? Glamour's gotta be here somewhere, right? There's no way you can have Don't Starve without Glum Glum. Glamour Poo. Oh, here he is. Here's Glumsy. And we got a pan flute. Um, yeah, whatever. Put those on the ground. We got a pan flute. So I can make base here. I think, though, with these things, like with this pond up here, this is like a goose goose spawner. Or it can be a goose goose spawner. So I don't know how good of an idea it would be to make camp, like, right by a goose goose spawner. Because what if she, like, spawns in the base and destroys it? I don't think that would be very fun to deal with. Just a random goose goose that spawns and kills everything that you work so hard to build. I think she can destroy structures. If she can't destroy structures, then whatever. We'll be fine. But if we just make our camp a safe distance away from her, we'll probably be fine, right? Probably. Let's make it near that set piece. That'll be like our weird uh, living room area place. Near that strange set piece over here. We can make camp right over here, which is not very far from the pig, so they'll probably go wear a pig and kill us all, but whatever. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, right? So I think I'm going to make camp here, right here in this set piece, because it looks pretty. Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty over here. So we're going to make it right here. So let's just put our fire pit down. I don't have enough rocks. I don't have enough rocks. Wow. Okay, well, I guess we can put some stuff down. Let's just, like, put some pine cones down. Put this down. I can't combine stacks, apparently, but I can do that. Let's drop all this stuff here. We're gonna call this place home. We just gotta dress it up and make it look pretty. Let's go run back, since I need rocks anyway, and run back to where we left our science machine and destroy it. So we can get rocks back. And probably gonna need some more, like, wooden stuff, but we'll find it. We'll also have this right back here to so easily probably refill our lanterns and stuff, but I'm not gonna break it because I don't want to deal with the uh, bats just yet. Oh yeah, our wormhole. It gets me a lot closer. Faster. Yeah? Let's go break this. Collect the remains. Same with all this stuff. We don't need the ash. We can probably throw all this out. Excuse you, Mr. Bat Guys. Nobody cares about you. Please go away. Here's our science machine, though. Let's break it because we don't need it anymore. Get our materials back. There we go. I think we should have enough stone and stuff now, so we're gonna go back to our future base. Um, where is. What am I looking for? I don't remember what I was looking for in my inventory just now. We can go back through this wormhole, though. Okay. That was a totally sane thing to do. If I saw a hole in the ground that breathed and had teeth, I would jump through it, too. Wilson, you're 100% normal. Well, there's a pickaxe down here that we probably could have taken, but that's okay. We got we got one now. We got an extra pickaxe. I'm gonna eat these flowers. I don't think it does anything. And I also want to chop some of these trees down, because they're in my view of my future base. I think because I don't want these to like go bad or anything, let's... Well, they won't anytime soon, but there we go. It only took two of those to refill it back up, and we've been using it for like three nights, so... Lanterns work out nicely. Okay, so we cleared a little scoop up the stumps. I don't know how I ended up picking up this uh, limestone, but okay. Okay, so I think we need to make our stuff again. So I will need another electrical doodad. And some more boards and stone. So we're fine. Two more boards, one more stone. 
alchemy machine. And, uh, where is my, uh, here it is. Die, stupid skeleton. We also need a fire pit, so. No, I didn't mean to make that one. I wanted to make that one. Oh, I, I guess I could change its look before I place it. That's nice. I didn't know that. I didn't know I could change the look of it before I place it. So we're gonna put the fire pits. Maybe we should put the fire pits here, and then put like the alchemy machine and stuff back here, so that when we have a, a when we need to have the flingomatic, it can just go out right outside of this range. So we're gonna put the fire pit here, and we can make an endothermic fire later that can go right next to it. And the endothermic fire will go right there. But we're gonna put the science machine. Uh, excuse you, birds. Get out of here. Science machine can go right over a little bit there. Or should I line it up with the fire pit and do it there? Ah, uh, let's put it like slightly obscure to the side. Excuse you, bird. Get out of here. Thank you. All right, we're gonna put it there. Cool. So we got our science machine and stuff and junk. Okay. So I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. I think we're making some pretty good progress. We're not dying, we got plenty of food right now and it's raining. Thanks for that game. All I needed was rain so that I could be wet and lose more sanity. Okay, this will be fun to come back to. But I think next episode we're gonna work on trying to find the clockwork so that we can get a flingomatic and the uh, flingomatic and the refrigerator and make some crock pots and stuff. So we have to start getting our base ready to survive. We're also going to try to plant some stuff and get some fertilizer for them and hopefully not die in the freaking rain because of sanity. So thank you guys so much for joining me with this episode of Don't Starve. If you like it, then please give it a like or don't. That is up to you. But I do hope you'll join me next time for more Don't Starve. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.